What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Xavier here and ladies and gentlemen you can see we're actually on the computer instead of or like on the home page instead of being in Rogue Demon. And ladies and gentlemen we have a lot to discuss. So we are going to be talking about the next Rogue Demon updates that is going to be coming to the game. Now first off, Game Peaks. They just posted a map of the world. You can see all the continents in that and obviously from base value we can obviously assume what to expect so there's quite literally going to be a new map in rogue demon on the next update which is actually something a lot of us have wanted since we've been having this map for several multiple months so finally getting a new map which is cool and then this was a sneak that was posted on 10 11 so we can see the updates was a little bit after that but that had nothing to do with actually this clip here so if you guys want to explain to me what this clip means uh please let me know like maybe i'm dumb maybe i should be knowing something is it is it have something to do with a map honestly this kind of looks similar to a map i could be wrong here entirely but it really does look like a map so please let me know in the comments what this could possibly mean because i genuinely have no idea at all and then we can also see uh, purchase move set for rogue coins this is I believe sneak peeking the trial system I think that was them sneak piecing the trial system right uh, yeah added free move set trial system so that's definitely what they sneak peek there but we can see this I still have no idea what this means and then we can see that there's going to be a new map now here's the big one the only other move because we can also assume that the next update is going to be releasing a new Sonami move, right? So we can only assume that it's going to be the fourth form, Rising Dust Storm. Is it going to be an evasive? Probably not. I also really don't like the mountain ability. I think the one way to completely save that ability from its current position is if they allowed you to like not have to play through the whole animation. Kind of like with uh, Doki's Ultimate. You can click again to instead of having to wait for the full charge up. So... You know, I think they should definitely do that with this Sonami move Mountain Wind. And I hope that they're probably not going to add an evasive given they're going to add the ultimate as the next move since Rising Death Storm ideally would be the ultimate. We are actually going to go ahead and play it so you can see here Sonami does his, you know, he's huge like massive whirlpool of wind that just decimates the demons so that's probably what's going to be and i'm also wondering if they're going to do an execution style so like you know with akaza's ultimate if you're low enough health points uh it'll like slam them into the ground do an execution so i'm wondering if they're going to do that too with you know the blood spraying down we don't know probably not given rogue demon isn't really leaning into that blood style you know gameplay or blood style you know visual but you know we're going to definitely be able to expect that as the next update so ladies and gentlemen we can obviously see here the next wind breathing move that's gonna come we can expect a new map I still have no idea what this means the, the big question is is this new map gonna relate to the infinity castle can we expect the infinity castle I don't know but what we're gonna I don't know because if, if they get the we need the infinity castle update we need it it's gonna bring a lot of hype to the game it's gonna carry we're actually gonna go in rogue demon and discuss the specific things that we need to change hopefully that gets changed with wind breathing in order to truly perfect it all right let's go ahead and load up in rogue demon I have a feeling I mean there's a good chance the devs maybe listen will listen maybe we could put in the title video I med please <laughs> and you'll listen for sure so let's go ahead and join the PS and actually discuss the things that need to be changed with the wind breathing moveset because let's be honest here wind breathing is an important moveset Sonami has a lot of hype around his name and I think it's important for rogue demon to truly perfect you know what we're gonna want to see so let's go ahead and hop in boom 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 okay cool then we're gonna go to early access so yeah so first thing is first like we already said mountain wind when i click this instead of having to do that whole woo -woo 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 swirl around i it should either be much shorter or it should be able to like you could click any point from clicking that to instantly go into the ground baking animation that's the first thing purifying claws is actually a decent move you know maybe increase the stun time by 0.2 to 0.3 seconds maybe and I only say that because it is 
So, um, not really. I mean, you can see, so you know dummies show, like, when this guy turns red, he's stunned, right? So we go boom, boom, boom. My bad. Boom, 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 boom. Into the move stack, and you hit that. And they're ragdolled long enough for you to be able to, obviously, I botched that. But, okay, why do I keep picking? All right, so you guys can see. Boom. So he's going to be ragdolled long enough for me to jump in. Boom, 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 boom. So that move alone isn't, I actually kind of like it. And just to show you guys, we'll, we'll hop into public and show that it actually stuns you long enough for a player to hit you. And then as far as Whirlwind Cutter goes, you know, it's a pretty decent move in itself. It is semi-difficult to combo extend because you have to, well, obviously that dummy's not going to ragdoll like an actual player would. But as long as you move stack it perfectly and do that swirl around, I'm going to do it again for you guys. So make sure you guys pay very close attention. Back into it, right there. You're going to be able to, well, obviously it pulled out the move again. But if as long as you do that 180, that 180 turnaround thing, you're going to be able to combo extend no matter what, my friend. So that's the big thing. And then as far as, yeah, so those are the two moves. Those are all the three moves explained. So really just Mountain Wind is the only move that could be slightly improved on. But obviously, you know, the thing about Rogue Demon, I, I think you may be able to uh, Afro Dash move stack Mountain Wind. Let's actually go ahead and hop in a public server and do a slight bit of PvP. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, we're in a public server, so let's go ahead and spawn in and do a bit of... Okay, why is my team 200? Okay, fine. Let's try to find another server really quickly. All right, so we're actually on some good ping, so let's go ahead and spawn in and do some PvP. And uh, let's see how truly peak. Okay, what's up, buddy? All right, you gonna come down here and fight? All right, you see it? Pretty clean. Yeah, so I don't think combo extending on that is necessarily true, to be honest. Or maybe even that one, bro, honestly. These moves might be, yeah, I think the stun time might just be too low on all of these abilities. And the time it takes to activate Mountain Wind is a little bit too low. I don't think any of these are actually true combo extenders. Well, actually, uh, Afro Dash move stacking this one might work. Yeah, Afro Dash move stacking that is makes it true. Afro Dash move stack that makes it true. Um, we just got to check it with Mountain Wind. Yeah, that really doesn't help us at all. I don't think that's true. Yeah, honestly, wind might not be as overpowered. Against noobs, yes. Against noobs, wind breathing will slap somebody up. But I don't think it, the abilities are, are, are true. I The only one I think is true is the Afro Dash move stack on Purifying. That is it. Wow, that's kind of disappointing, honestly. I had a lot of high hopes. Ho bro, hopefully I'm at... Man... Man, if I gotta make a video, because I had a video saying wind breathing is OP, and yes, it is. But I may make a video saying it's trash when it comes to like competitive gameplay. I think, I think wind breathing is strong against your average rogue demon player, against the noob. But in in competitive in co uh, competitivity, I mean, I think the only I think purifying does guard break though. I would have to do some further tests. But man, wind breathing might truly not be as strong as we think, especially in the higher elo against proer players who understand, you know, uh, timing and being able to dash out of things. Because they're going to be able to dash out of the mountain wind pretty quickly. They're going to be able to dash out of the wind cutter pretty quickly. Purifying claws seems to be the only true combo extender with, and that has to be an Afro dash move stack, which isn't always an easy technique. I see even the best of players not being able to always one hundred. 100% Afro Dash move stack. So, a little bit concerning. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, though. Um, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. We're going to be making a video probably uh, talking crap about 
when breathing in order to hopefully have Ahmed do the small changes that we design. I mean, if he's not going to add uh, an evasive, bro, at the very least, add this. But yeah, guys, I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Peace.